Today I'm going to show you how to do a thermocouple bypass test with your RTC1000 controller when you get a fail message like we're getting right now. And a fail message is telling you that there is either wrong, a problem wrong with the thermocouple or a problem with the controller. So the easiest way to tell that is to do the thermocouple bypass test like I mentioned. So the first thing we want to do is we want to remove power to the kiln and the controller. So go ahead and power kiln off. Then you want to start removing the four screws in the corner of the controller. So you can sort of see the screw up here in the top right hand corner. We're going to go ahead and remove that and the other screws so that we can pull the controller away from the control box. So let's go ahead and do that first. Okay, so once you've got the controller removed from the control box, um, you'll see the back should look something like this with wires connected and the thermocouple on the left side here. So we want to go ahead and disconnect our thermocouple. So you can just go ahead and take a screwdriver, loosen those two screws, and then you're going to go ahead and remove the thermocouple connections. Okay, so once we've got that done, then we need to use a jumper wire. So you can either use a piece of wire. Uh, the easiest thing that we've found is just a small paper clip clipped in half. So it should just make a U-shaped link and you can insert the paper clip between the two terminals that the thermocouple was just attached to, the positive and negative. So then now you can see we've got our jumper wire in there and then we're ready to go ahead and start the thermocouple bypass test so we need to begin back at the front side of the controller now. So we'll go there now. Okay so now that we've got the jumper installed we want to go ahead and return power to the kiln and controller. So go ahead and do that and then we need to check the temperature reading. So if we see a normal room temperature with idle like we do right now, then that means that there is a problem with either the thermocouple or the thermocouple wire and it will need to be fixed or replaced. Now if you're getting some really high odd temperature readings for this temperature reading right now, then that means there's actually a problem with the controller itself and you'll need to send it in to repair for us. But That pretty much completes the thermocouple bypass test, but that's a great way to determine um, what's causing your problem. So that's it for this one, but remember to like us on Facebook, sign up for our newsletter, or check our website for more information and tips. Thanks!